Do you think a small Italian like me and a dog can prepare delicious falafel? We will discover it together in a few seconds. Welcome everybody on Help Me Food. Today, a recipe. Falafel. Mmm, I love falafel. And Crawford and my dog love it too, but I'm not giving him any. I know I'm too greedy. If you are new to this channel, I am a nutritional lifestyle coach, and here you can find some healthy talks, healthy tips, and recipes like this one. So consider subscribing and click the bell for new updates. So let's start! I am here a cup of dry chickpeas, uh, you don't want to use the canned ones for the falafel. And for this occasion, I'm using the Attack of Titan cup my wife bought it to me. I love it. Ba -ba 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 -bum 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 -bum. <laughs> Then I cover everything with water and I put a cloth or clean cloth over it. And chickpeas will stay overnight, soaking in water. And now, ta-da! I'm back with the magic trick. Yeah, let's be honest. I changed my t-shirt from green to grey and you didn't even notice. Okay, so what I do have here? Yes, I do have some chickpeas, which are now well drained and dried. A food processor. Um, is the cheap one I had the previous videos, I know I have to change it. And I'm pouring the chickpeas into it. Okay, now I start to grind the chickpeas first and um, after a minute or so I will add two cloves of garlic, of garlic and grind it together again. Then I'm adding a small bunch of coriander and parsley and start again to grind. Uh, well, if you see people walking, uh, talking, some shoes, well, that's my niece going around. Okay, then finally I add half of onion and I continue to grind. Then uh, a good pinch of salt, a couple of spoons of flour uh, to, thicken, to thicken the whole mix and um, just a little stir and then I will add some good pinch of smoked paprika and cumin. Or you can choose turmeric or according to your taste or any, um, any kind of other, you know, spices. Then the mix is ready and uh, you can pour everything into a big bowl, cover it with clean film and put it into the fridge to rest for the set uh, for say about a, a couple of hours. Now, while everything is setting down, I'm preparing some guacamole with two avocados, uh, some lemon juice, about an half a lemon, uh, half of a tomatoes, a garlic clove and some salt and some Tabasco to spice it up. Okay, here I show you how to open an avocado, it's really simple. Cut it enough and then remove the stone as shown, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. Then with a spoon you remove the pulp, very easy as well, when the avocado is ripe. And put it aside for a while, just for a second. Then we work the tomatoes by cutting in very small pieces with a knife. And I prefer doing it with a knife uh, because I think it will give a better result compared to the food processor. It won't be as smooth as the fruit processor, but in my opinion you will have a better texture and you can taste the more chewy pieces of all the ingredients in it. Okay, then I crush um, the, avocado, the avocados gently with a fork and I add um, the tomatoes and continue to process with the fork. Okay, then I add uh, now the, about a quarter of a, uh, of a lemon. Depending on your decided taste, more lemon will give you a fresher taste. Then a bit, a bit of Tabasco and then, then I continue to stir again. Uh, by the way, if you see here shoes, shadows, feet, people... Um, I had three ladies around while shooting this video and they were noisy. I know it may not be professional but it was fun, it was really fun. Now I am finally chopping the garlic. And finally I add it to the mix. And guacamole is ready. Uh, after uh, finally adding a small of salt and a little steel, I put the ball into the fridge. Yeah, you can see here I'm putting the guacamole in the bowl and then I'll put it in the, in the fridge to set. And you also can see my assistant, the dog, crafting around. And now it's just time to prepare my lovely falafel. Okay, some hot oil is ready and ready to go. Um, okay, just take a bit um, and give it a desired shape. If the falafel goes into a pita bread like the one I'm preparing, give it a disc shape. If not, then you can give a bold shape like normal falafel. Um, it's dark in the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah, it was evening, sorry. It's really dark here. 
Okay, continue to give shape and fry until all the mix is finished. Remember to turn on the other side for an homogeneous cooking and this is the final result. Okay, while cooking I also prepared some tzatziki to accompany the falafel to get it with the guacamole and some uh, diced uh, tomatoes. So I really hope you liked this video, please thumb up if you did and remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for new updates. Well, it's all for now and I'm only left to say eat well, live well and smile. See you next Wednesday. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.